He wanted to ride a bicycle faster than anyone else in the world. So in 1978, Jean-Claude Rude made a spectacular attempt to set a new record. The French cyclist wanted to reach a speed of more than 240 kilometers per hour, faster than what most cars were capable of at that time. He was assisted by fellow Frenchman Henri Pescarola, a four-time Le Mans champion who had entered the race a record number of times. So Porsche selected the 935, which was the most powerful car of its day. For this extraordinary endeavor, the Porsche Martini racing team installed a special structure on the rear of the 800 horsepower car. And yet, how is it possible for a bicycle to reach speeds of more than 200 kilometers per hour? A large sprocket provided the transmission ratio necessary to accelerate the wheel, one rotation for a distance of 27 meters, and Rude used it to ride right behind the Porsche and benefit from its slipstream. A roller on the rear bumper was designed to prevent Rude from falling if his bicycle came into contact with the car. This also made it quite a challenge for Henri Pescarolo. <laughs> If I'd made a big enough mistake or accelerated the car too quickly, Jean-Claude would no longer have been sheltered from the wind at 200 kilometers per hour and would have been mincemeat. I had his life in my hands. La vie de Jean -Claude que je the big day came on August 23, 1978, and the unusual tandem started their attempt at a world record on the Volkswagen test course in Era Lessine. But at 170 kilometers per hour, there was an accident. Rude's rear tire blew out and blocked the wheel. He was sliding on the rear wheel like a skier and managed to keep the bike under control until it stopped. The 23-year-old was very fortunate not to fall. Jean-Claude Rude did not end up breaking the record. What remains is the memory of an extraordinary attempt and the knowledge that a Porsche 935 can do so much more than win races.